unusual is it, a case like this, the, an unidentified child's body for so long? Thankfully, pretty unusual. But mm -hmm. over the years when I did America's Most Wanted for 25 years, I think we did about 10 of those cases. Mm -hmm. And some of them were never solved, and some of them we got lucky and solved, and people came forward. It, it's hard to imagine. I mean, how does a child, you know, disappearing, a child disappearing is one thing, but a child being found and nobody, I mean, somebody must know who this child is. Multiple people must know Absolutely who this child is. Absolutely, somebody knows who this child is. In the cases where we did find the children, they were the one child in the family of multiple children that the live-in boyfriend or the mommy abused and battered not any of the other children and then either accidentally killed the child or starved the child or whatever and disposed of the body and then we always ask the same question somebody must have known that child please have the courage to call somebody but I learned one thing on America's Most Wanted for 25 years and in the last year of the hunt not people do not want to talk to cops they don't want to call the Massachusetts State Police or the FBI or the marshals mm -hmm. they don't want to be dragged into the case so if you give them a way to do the right thing which I did for 25 years they could call my number now 1-866 the hunt or go to my website cnn.com slash the hunt I don't care what your name is mm -hmm. a couple of the cases I did were illegal aliens okay they there's 15 million illegal aliens here good people that are pursuing the American dream but they don't want to talk to police and get deported right. so sometimes they know who the child is and they may see something right. if they're a migrant in Texas or Florida they may have seen the child and say you know what that family always abused that child I'd like to tell somebody I think who it is but I can't because I think I'll be in trouble so I was saying to those people we're not going to involve you no cops gonna come no nobody traces or taps right. my phones at the hunt it worked for 25 years and last year I caught five people because I guarantee remain anonymous somebody knows who that little girl is she deserves a burial and whoever bar killed her even if she died accidentally and let's say it by chance it is illegal alien family who doesn't know what to do with the body doesn't know what to tell let's find out who she is right. let's give her that burial she so deserves and if there are other kids in the family at risk somebody's got to come forward and say there's three other right. kids and they might be beaten to death and wind up in that river a year from now when, or six months from now when you see this this kind of artist rendering or computer generated image how accurate do these usually turn out to be you know we started the national center for missing and exploited children in 1984 ronald reagan helped us do it my wife and i and the center has the best pros in the country mm -hmm. they they have put together computer aging of missing children for years right on you've seen some of the pictures right. the kid will get recovered and it'll be right. that kid and they're the pros at it and and they have now reached out I was at Facebook all day today Facebook now does Amber Alerts which mm -hmm. are wonderful so Facebook and YouTube and the National Center we've been able to get about 54 million views wow. of this little girl and I'm still amazed that nobody's come yeah. forward but social media will help solve this because the pictures are what get people to call in, in that image her race may not be completely accurate you can't tell and, right and, and many many times children are of mixed races and it is very difficult but the overall to tell. shape of the face th that kind of thing generally is accurate Oh, without a doubt. Right. I'm, I'm amazed. And I mean, the technology is incredible at the National Center. They're pros. The Massachusetts State Police and the Massachusetts cops know they're pros. And, and that picture is going to keep being shown. And I, I may even show it on Sunday night if, if, if her identity isn't known because we really need to find out who she is. Right. And, and again, just to, to reiterate this, you know, a lot of people sometimes think, well, somebody else will know and somebody else will do it, even though if the, I might have information. You, you got to pick up that phone. You, you, you make call. a great point. If you think you know, no matter how inconsequential it is or how far off you think you are, it never ceased to amaze me as I caught almost 1,400 guys right. and we recovered 61 missing children alive. People it's picked incredible. up the phone. It's incredible. People want to do the right, right thing. They're good and they'll pick it up and make that call and maybe we'll break this case. Yeah. Can't save her, unfortunately, but maybe save her siblings or somebody else. Yeah. John Walsh, thank you so much for being with us. I hope Glad this to helps. Be, here, uh, be sure to tune in this Sunday night, 9 Eastern Pacific, for the premiere of season two of The Hunt with John Walsh right here on CNN.